All righty. All right, we are starting out on Walnut Avenue. City of Orange. So I really need to adjust this chain. I think it's kind of, uh, it's gonna be a little annoying for the viewer. So, but man, I just don't have time to do anything. So it's probably something very, very simple. So if you're if you're watching this video and you hear that noise I apologize but I just don't know definitely shifting fine it's just those uh, I need to adjust the set screw adjustments and uh, I only have this one thin long sleeve shirt on and it's cold man it's 58 right now it's Southern California cold So we have an hour and a half on this camera left right now. I didn't transfer any videos over. There is some shady people in this store right now. Oh my God. Oh my Lord. So yeah, I mean, I can try to adjust this uh, derailleur right now, but it's kind of late. Let's see what time it is. Oh yeah, it's already six. So it's shifting uh, all the gears just fine. I think I just need to adjust the set screws a little bit. But um, yeah, we got 
got to get on the road. We don't have time to mess around right now. All Going out into traffic, guys. Oh my God. So the sounds of traffic will block out the noise. So we're on uh, Tustin Avenue. Oh, I have this little light on the back of my helmet. Let's turn it on. So, yeah, we haven't, I haven't really made any progress anywhere as far as uh, the e-bike goes, but I don't know. We got, uh, this was rent week, so that's, that's kind of the situation I was in. So rent week is always, <laughs> it's always a doozy. Uh, and now this week is, uh, wow, that car is dragging something. So yeah, I mean, it's just, if it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it doesn't, so. Uh, um, yeah, we're just going to ride and we we'll just go day, day by day and uh, see what we get. It's all good. I'm not, I'm not stressing, I'm just... I'm cruising guys so I'm not gonna be in the street I can't uh, I'm just gonna ride on the sidewalk and uh, do, it, do it this way right now This is a really nice gear that's easy on the legs. Um, and uh, it's not super fast, but. I don't think we want to go fast on the sidewalk anyway. I was riding on uh, Main Street yesterday on the sidewalk and was kind of just tripping on the bike, wasn't really paying attention to what I was doing. Had kind of a close call with a pedestrian coming around a corner. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to stick to um, you have route, routes that will accommodate this kind of bike. Like uh, one of my subscribers mentioned yesterday, you know, like on this type of bike, I can go out 
probably east of the 55 where I can ride in the street and uh, be, be safe, you know. I need to adjust that little, like a little set screw. This bike, oh, this bike definitely, uh, definitely rolls, man. These people are the anti-abortion people. They come out here to Planned Parenthood and... all that all that kind of business all right look at this we're rolling again so i had planned on taking the uh I plan on taking the Metrolink this morning because I have my other bike is at the at, at work, so I need to bring it home. Uh, so I was gonna take Metrolink and then ride the beach cruiser home, but. As you can see, that didn't work out. So as much pain as I'm in right now, just from my legs being sore and uh, a little saddle sore, I just, I don't know. I just am, uh, possessed to uh to ride i don't know i don't understand it I just want to ride I'll probably go I'll probably go just uh, up to First Street and then cut uh, cut over to uh, Newport or Red Hill and do that route right now. Just 
so we'll get an idea we'll get an idea of how fast we're going in a minute yeah it's freezing man I am so cold but at least I'm gonna warm up a little bit by pedaling I see other other people other people in the morning on their bikes like the serious cyclists and they're you know they got they have uh, shorts on and a short sleeve riding shirt But I think, you know, once I... Once I get the derailleur adjusted and... Um, get my strength and endurance up on this bike, I'll be able to go a lot faster for a lot longer. You know, the, uh, the ride in the morning is, isn't too bad. I mean, I'm more sore in the morning than the afternoon, but for some reason that afternoon ride is much more difficult, but it could either be from, you know, just being, I guess, being tired from working all day. But mentally, you know, even if I exert myself in the morning, mentally and then just a general, like my well being, I feel a lot better when I ride to work. Like, uh, my my mind is very clear and um, yeah my overall well-being is, is always heightened uh, when I ride to work especially if I've uh, you know had a, a difficult time physically kind of wore myself out I feel, I feel good, you know. You know, when you're riding, you're always feeling like you're making progress. You're on the Metrolink, you're always... You're always, you know, waiting for the, waiting for the train. How long is it going to take? Um, is it going to be late? You know, is that is that crazy person going to sit next to me? I just like being out here in the fresh air and looking around, and just it's a it's a good positive experience.
Yeah, I think having a having a seat that a saddle that's a little more uh, comfortable, especially because I just kind of cruise, would make all the difference. But. For this type of bike, you're not gonna have like a big plush seat, you know? It's gonna, that's gonna actually make it worse. It's gonna rub up against your legs and create all kinds of other problems. I guess, I don't know. Anyway. So my son's been wanting an e-bike. Uh, we were gonna get him one for Christmas, but then he, uh, let's try to, let's make this. He changed his mind. It didn't get, didn't get the bike. And now that I've been riding so much, he has a regular bike. You know, he, he wants to go ride with me, you know, on the weekends. So rather than get, so I think I'm gonna get him a bike. Um, Like I was talking about in my video the other day, we have that, that thing called purchasing power where you pay like a lot more money for something. It's basically like a, I guess like a credit line. So we're turning left on first right now. We're heading east on first street. Whoa. Uh, so they, the, the electric bikes that they have on that, on purchasing power are, you know, they're not, They're not really name brand, and there's not uh, there's not really any support for them. But he really likes like the moped style of bike. Um, so they have one that's by. Uh, Called a company called Glare Glare Wheel, and it's just a very, very simple uh, moped style bike with a 500 watt motor. Um, I don't think it. I think it has front suspension, and uh, you know, four inch by 20 inch fat tires. You know, and. Um, So uh, it's it's basic, but the cool thing about that. So I was just looking at all the different brands. That's what I was looking at first, and kind of get an understanding of what their support, their customer support would be like. And this this particular one has a uh, storefront in Murrieta which is out uh, by Temecula. So it's very close. They didn't have a lot of current reviews. I think the most current one was a couple months. Um, you know, and, go, and going back all the way to like four years. So it looks like a nice, normal building uh the shop looks clean 
the reviews were all good. They were all five stars. There were actually a, so they're a service center too. So they, they service, you know, they sell different brands of bikes. They sell scooters and stuff like that, but uh, the, uh, they had some one stars and, a, and some two stars. <laughs> but when you read them, so people were buying, you know, scooters or um, hoverboards or e-bikes from other companies and taking them there because it is a service center. But they don't service, you know, they only service their own bikes. They don't service other, other people's bikes. And so that's every single bad review was because of that service center issue. But as far as like post-purchase support and the quality of the bike and yeah, customer service was, was all good. So it's really a minimal investment. It's like, it's very easy. Um, they just take $20 a week out of my paycheck. So it's, it's like, that's, that's, <laughs> that's nothing. It probably takes me less than 15 minutes to make that much. So we're on El Camino in Old Town Testing. So yeah, I don't know. So we might get that. I want him, you know, me, I, it's like, for me, it's about the kids, you know? It's, I, I don't, I want to be able to ride with my son, so we can we can put off the motor for my bike and get that and then I guess they're thinking that I would ride that bike until until I get the electric fixed but yeah I, I don't know I would, I would maybe ride it a little bit, but. Whoa, there's a little mini curve I almost smashed. All right, so we're to, uh, where are we? This is Newport, right? So I guess we'll stay on Newport rather than cut over to Red Hill. We'll go this way. So I don't know, maybe we'll get it, maybe we won't. I mean, I think he should get it, but I don't want him to get it so that I, yeah, I put a lot of miles on a bike. I would feel terrible if we got him a bike and then something, something happened to the bike while I was riding it. But even if he gets that bike, then we can go on bike rides together and I'll be on this one and my other son will be on his beach cruiser. My daughter has a, uh, or he can ride my son's other bike and my wife can ride the beach cruiser. Wait, wait, wait. 
and then we can all, yeah, we can all be together. Anyway, I don't want to talk about that stuff anymore. I'm, I feel like it's... I want to... Uh, I want to look at all this. Let's talk about our environment. I think this is my uh, agility training on this bike. So riding on the sidewalk, you have a lot more obstacles. This is good for, for me to learn how to maneuver. I gotta get my maneuvering down. Go ahead and cut across. Oh, that was heavy, hard hit. So yeah, I'm no longer, it's definitely still freezing, but I don't feel cold anymore. I feel nice and warmed up. You can't see crap. Ah. <laughs> it's all good. Across here, no cars behind me. All right, six thirty four. Fifty seven degrees. I got a text, what is this? I 
don't have my glasses on. Alright, let's check out, I gotta check out work orders. I have one critical piece of equipment that I need to make sure is uh, going okay. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's open up, upkeep. Got a car coming behind us. So this is uh, this little cut. So that street I turned on is called Sycamore. We're heading towards uh, Red Hill. What's this car doing? It's an interesting move. All right, let's make sure my machine is good. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's beautiful out right now. You can see the outline of the mountains. So when does a mountain, when does a foothill become a mountain? What's that, that elevation? Herzog, the railroad maintenance team. Oh, this is nice. I kind of regret babbling on and on about bikes and all that stuff. But there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of time to, uh, a lot of time I have to fill up on these rides. So I'm kind of just uh, talking about what's, what turns over in my mind. Oh, 
beat this car. Always living on the edge. Yeah, it's, it's nice to, to pedal and get a, uh, and get a response from the bike. With that beach cruiser, you have to continuously pedal and then you let off the pedals and you don't coast very much at all. This bike just keeps, uh, keeps its momentum very, very nicely. I'm becoming one with this bike. here on Valencia. Valencia. So I was just thinking about seeing other cyclists. Uh, there are a lot of cyclists in uh, Orange County. They're like the, uh, you know, the hardcore ones that ride, you know, do weekend rides, you know. Very far, you know, so up Santiago Canyon, I see them, I see them all over the place. and. Uh, And they just, I mean, in Huntington Beach last weekend, I, you know, you see so many on PCH in these big groups. And they're just, man, they're just going so fast. And they just have this, this power and this momentum. It's, uh, it's very cool to see. And, uh, I think I would like, you know, to be able to do, to do that. But that's an expensive. I guess you call it a hobby, cyclist, sport, whatever it is. I mean, you have to. I mean, those guys have their bikes are probably you know, range from 5000 to $10,000 or something. But that, that doesn't matter. But, you know, you have to start somewhere. So I remember it made me think about when I was a kid and uh, I wanted to skateboard and uh, my brother had gotten a good skateboard. He got like a Mark Gonzalez, a Vision Mark Gonzalez. So this was in like, you know, probably 88, somewhere around there, maybe 87, 86, I don't know. One of the first Vision Mark Gonzalez's, and I used to try to ride it, but I lived out in the country, so we only had this little small, uh, square rectangle of a uh, driveway that I could practice on and he didn't you know he was my older brother and he didn't 
he didn't really like me, you know. But uh, and he definitely did not want me riding his skateboard. But I would. I was that annoying little brother, so I would, uh, you know, try to learn how to ride the skateboard. And then, but you know, I didn't have, I couldn't really practice that much. And then uh, one weekend, I'm assuming it was a weekend, I visited a friend of mine in town. My friend Chris. And uh, they lived in like a suburban neighborhood. And uh, you have sidewalks everywhere and stores and all that good stuff. And uh, so, and then it was like he had his neighborhood and you know, other kids in the neighborhood that were his friends. So they all had, you know, skateboarding was just getting super popular at that time. So, Everybody had skateboards and bikes and just running amok through the neighborhood. Well, we were going to go on this big adventure. I don't even remember to where. I think we were going to this taco stand called Chayitos. It wasn't really far, super far, but it was probably a mile or two. And, um, wait, wait. So here I am. You know, I didn't have. I didn't bring a bike or anything. I didn't, I didn't have a skateboard at that time. And uh, so he had one and he had a good one. I don't remember what it was. I seem to think it was a GNS, like something like a Rob Roscop or something like that. And uh, He gave me that to ride, so they were on skateboards, but they were good. They were, they, I mean, they knew how to ride. They were already, <laughs> they were already like building lawn tramps and I mean, they weren't, they couldn't really ollie or anything like that yet, but they were, they were getting there. But I had to keep up with these guys. So that, uh, man, so here I am, I, I barely know how to skate, trying to keep up with these guys. And uh, I just did, you know, I just kept, you know, veering off the sidewalk and having to jump off the board and learning how to, he had really tight trucks, I remember that. I think a lot of people had tight trucks back then, but you know, the OG, OG skaters, you know, you're gonna ride super loose trucks. So I had to learn how to like tic-tac and push and not shoot my board out. And I'm just following these guys along the sidewalk, just a disaster all over the place. And it was frustrating. I can remember being frustrated a little bit, but I just kept going. And uh, we rode all day, rode all weekend. And then, uh, I knew that's what I wanted to do. You know, I got good. I got good enough just in that weekend, but you know, I probably skated, you know, 10 hours that weekend. So it was, you just gotta get through that. Uh, just gotta keep, keep trying, you know? how I feel with this pedal bike because I'm like you know, I just gotta keep pushing and then maybe eventually I can make a make the trip faster and you know take longer trips Right. So we're on Armstrong now. And we'll, uh, I guess we'll just cut over to uh, Red Hill now. Or not Red Hill, Von Carmen. We're way past Red Hill.
we'll go, we'll just cut, we'll cut through the back of Walmart. We have somebody living in a tent here. So my legs are still definitely sore, but they're not fatigued. You know, I feel like I still have power. bike lane and a diaper got a diaper in the bike lane Speedometer here. Oh, that's not too bad. Thirteen miles an hour. Let's do another gear. Fourteen. Look at that. Yeah, I'll try to figure out my, my derailleur eventually. Oh, I forgot to take the trash can out. Dang.
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe we're going to have to get a motorcycle. Green light. Smells like burnt popcorn for some reason. Oh man. All right, we have the hill climb. The hill climb, oh no. I do. Yeah, I think definitely the hardest part is this getting used to this seat. I mean, this seat is something else. I know that's how they're supposed to be, but man, does it, that those e-bikes just get you? Uh, soft, you yeah. know? All right, we're in our climbing gears now, guys. It's a little noisy. Let's do this. All right, that sounds good. This is top speed on the beach cruiser right here. Oh, man. Feel the burn. Yeah, my legs are just, oh man. This is easy, but it's not. All right, look at that. Oh man, wow. That was painful. Hill bomb. here we still have power a whole different kind of range anxiety we're gonna finish off strong oh yeah This 
is the tour day Orange County. Some serious business. I'm just thankful I, I'm still physically able to do stuff like this. I gotta keep up with my kids. That's why this happened. Oh man, look at all these cars. What am I gonna do? Always living, living on the edge. All right, well thank you so much for watching my video. Sorry that the, I haven't adjusted the chain right. Hopefully it's not too, too annoying. You can put some nice, I'm not really saying anything important, so you could probably put some music. Just, just watch. All right, we'll catch you on the next video. Oh man. You're gonna be on a YouTube bird. There you go, see? You don't want to be on YouTube? <laughs> Bird was trying to shit on my head. <laughs>